Hello everyone, I did want to make a video um, going over some of the questions from the 6.S1 worksheet as well as the 6.S2 worksheet. Um, so the 6.S1 material does cover the standard form and how it can um, give you the degree, the y-intercept, as well as the end behavior of a polynomial function. So we're going to do a couple of questions from that worksheet here, um, both number 5 and number 10. So this cover us for the um, quadratic as well as the cubic case. The linear case is pretty simple, so I'm going to um, leave that um, in the assignment. So if you look at number 5, uh, we're given 2 times bracket x minus 4 times uh, bracket x plus 5. And as we did in class, what we want to do first is we want to use FOIL here on the two binomials. So I have the first terms multiplied together, the outside terms multiplied together, the inside terms multiplied together, and the last terms multiplied together. So if I were to do that, I still have the 2. That doesn't change at all. But you will note that the first terms multiplied together will give you x squared. The outside terms will give you 5x. The inside terms will give you negative 4x. And finally, um, the last terms will give you negative 20. Okay. Then what you want to do is you combine the like terms. So in this case, I have 5x minus 4x. So that will give me just 1x. And finally, once you have done all that, you can simply take the two and distribute it inside of your brackets there. So you'll get 2x squared plus 2x minus 40. Okay. And then we have to. Uh, we are to point out the properties, the degree is 2, the y-intercept will be negative 40, and finally the end behavior is given by the leading coefficient, so this is uh, positive. And what you're going to end up with is degree is equal to equal to 2, the y-intercept is negative 40, and the end behavior, I was short, uh, write a shorthand EB, is going to be from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1, because it is a positive graph. We'll continue with number 10. Again, we start by foiling two of the binomials. Now, it doesn't matter if you do these two first or if you work on these two first. Um, it's a matter of preference. I myself like working with the last two uh, terms first and kind of work my way to the left. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw my arrows in. So in this case, once again, I have the negative 1 half still. That doesn't change. But when I FOIL, I'm going to get four terms. x times x gives me x squared. x times 4 gives me 4x. 3 times x gives me 3x. And 3 times 4 gives me 12. Then I'll proceed to combine the like terms. So I get x squared plus 7x in total, plus 12. Once I've done that, I proceed to the second part where I multiply the binomial with trinomial. So I'm going to have 6 terms in total, 1, 2, 3, and then from the bottom, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So I still have the negative 1 half in the front. We'll worry about that at the very end there. Um, but I will get the six terms, x times x squared is x cubed, and then 7x squared, and 12x. And then I have x um, squared times 1, or 1 times x squared, that will give me x squared, plus 7x, 
and then finally last term will be 12. So then I'll combine the like terms here. Uh, one way that you can help um, avoid being confused by which ones are actually like terms is to underline them with different colors or using different types of underlines. So that's always useful. So I get x cubed um, plus 8x squared plus 19x plus 12. And finally for the last part, just need to multiply the negative one half into all four terms there. Okay, so you get negative one half x cubed minus four x squared minus nineteen over two x and then minus six. So this time around the degree is gonna be three. Because of the greatest power. The y intercept is going to be equal to negative 6, as that is our constant term. And finally, seeing as how the uh, leading coefficient is negative and it is a cubic graph, it's actually going to come from quadrant number 2 and move into quadrant number 4. So it has a shape that's like this. I'm just going to draw a quick sketch here. So something like this. Okay. And that's what you're expected to be able to do from uh, section 6.S1, uh, the supplementary material for chapter 6, part 1.